This is a 1976 machine that was made in Germany. And the parts are So all these old school analog relays and switches are starting to wear, starting to go out, and they can't get new ones. So the electrical team. So our, yeah, so our electrical team is basically recreating all of this with updated equipment. And they're going to add a processor in there and a control machine that way. This is a PLC enclosure that we're building for one of our big boring bars for, in, for internal use. So we're adding control systems to our machine center. So it's just the beginning phases where they have this, the compact logics processor and laying out the, uh, the whole back panel that will be put into an enclosure and wired up for that machine. and it will tell the machine what to do, basically, based off of an input. So well, that's probably a lot more convenient than the old system. Way more convenient. You just hook it up to like a, a laptop or get yeah. it. That's cool. 230 some odd relays to, I think I have 24 now, and then motor contactors and hybrid motor starters, rather than using uh, conventional starters. We went to the Phoenix hybrid motor starters over there, the yellow and gray guys. And then we reused all of these. These are the transformers for the European voltages that um, control the clamps and some of the other speed relays, the electromagnetic, electromagnets. And then uh, the rest of it's just like the compact processor. It's a 5380. It's actually it can handle a lot of I.O. and it's super compact, hence the name. Um, when we got this machine, it had seven different control voltages. We've been able to whittle that down to uh, five. We still needed to maintain some of the that so we didn't have to replace some of our components. Um, as, as far as that, I was just trying to figure out how it operated, what, what did what, based off of German schematics that don't have electrical symbols like what's used now in, in today's age. So interpreting it was a bit of a challenge and, and took a little bit of work and research, but it, uh, it's up and running and it's actually more functional than when we bought it. Uh, the head feed wouldn't work when we purchased this machine. Uh, it does now. Uh, basically every, every component on it is functional now, whereas not everything was practical. Control panel that came with the machine in 1972. Uh, two 36 position wiper switches control speeds for the table and the head. Uh, so we integrated those in to digital inputs basically, and, and they work off a combination of, of said inputs to give you your outputting speed through a relay that then fires with an electromagnetic clutch, changes the gear in the gearbox, and gives you your, your drive speed. Everything on it's you know, original. We're actually going to update this panel. It will be our next project along with adding VFDs and some uh, encoders and potentiometers to try and get a, a more accurate feed speed.